Hello and welcome back to Boring Dad Gaming, where today we're going to be learning the next technique in Card Shark, which is number 18, the Stealthy Painter. So, you may have, if you play Card Shark, you may have wondered why when we were at the artist's gallery that we stole a paintbrush. Well, now we're going to learn what we're going to do with that paintbrush, and we're going to mark the deck, is the answer to that. So, we're going to talk through the steps in this technique. So he's saying when the game begins, he'll slip a deck into our pocket and we need to get up from the table, go to a separate room, and we're going to mark, I think it's probably four high cards. We can ignore the suits. All we have to do is indicate uh, the values, jack, queen, king, or ace. Now you can choose any system for this, but the easiest one to remember I found is just to use the same compass point uh, technique that we've used in the past, where the ace is at north, the king is at east, Queen is at south and the jack is at the west. So remember that when we come on to, to have a go. So it's actually six high value cards we're going to be marking. So we've got to go through the deck and just find some high value cards. And we've got three here. So we'll do a jack. And remember, north is for ace, east is for king, south is for queen, but this is a jack. So we're going to put this in the west on the left here. And that's done. Now we're going to do a queen. So again, ace, king, queen at the bottom here. So we're going to paint that. I'm going to do this king as he's right here. So he's going to be on the right here at the east. Blop. Now we're going to scroll through the deck to find... Uh, we'll find an ace just for a bit of variety. Uh, yeah, ace of hearts. So we're going to do a little dab at the top there for the ace. And we may as well just repeat, a, as they're here, a couple of jacks. Just one there in the west. And similar for this one. Like so. Right, so here we have our sticky hand technique. So we're going to need to pick a low card that we're going to palm and deal out to our opponent in a, in a minute. Now remember, this uh, you need to hit this the first time as it only goes through the once. It's a little bit slower than the, uh, the card in the hat, though, so that's okay. Now we're going to press the white button and we're going to get a, a direction indicator showing that we're going to be dealing to each of these people. You need to do it uh, against a time limit. And we're also keeping an eye out in the bottom left for cards that we've marked. We know the comp's just got a jack. That's fine. Our opponents still haven't had anything high. Still nothing. There. We know that we've just dealt a jack to our opponent and a queen to that one. Um, but I think it's the jack that we need to worry about here. So we're going to, again, this is the same compass point uh, system that we've used previously. So we're going to hold down the mouse button and pull it back to the left, to the east, uh, west, sorry, uh, for a jack and lay it down. And there we go. Correct value signaled. And that's the stealthy painter. It's, I, it's quite a fun technique, actually. I quite enjoy this one. The, um, you know, the marking the cards and then... Uh, knowing, spotting, spotting which ones you've marked when you're dealing them out. It's, it's quite a fun one to do. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, then please do hit the like button and I uh, hope to see you next time for more card shark techniques. Um, yeah, so bye for now.